Hello world and welcome back. I'm Karhu, the Great Bear of the North, and this is Empire Total War. We are playing as Venice. Uh, we're also using the Minor Factions Revenge mod. That's important to note. We are, well, we started off as Venice, um, but now we're Italy and like North Africa and even parts of the Middle East, so things are going along swimmingly. Uh, we just developed a um, uh, an agent, a missionary in southern Italy, so you know what, let's... Let's get this guy into um, North Africa and start continuing to convert the people there. Um, actually, here, just before I forget, let's actually do that. Um, and I think what the, one of the goals of today's episodes is going to be um, developing a third army, I think, in order to maybe do a three-pronged attack on, on the Ottomans. Because if I can move up through... Cairo, swap down from swoop down from Damascus, take Jerusalem, while at the same time starting um, a third army that can start taking like Sarajevo and Serbia and things like this. I think if we can do a two pronged attack on the Ottomans, that would be fantastic. Because if I can take Cairo and Palestine, that will um, destroy their 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 southern flank automatically. Um, okay, yeah, Algiers is Britain, so I don't need to worry about that. I mean, I'm allied with France, I'm allied with Spain, I'm allied with Austria. That should make things, um, a lot, a lot easier. But we will see. Um, but anyways, let's take some of these guys. Let's take, um, a brig out just to help escort the missionary across the seas. Um, ooh, a commercial basin. Whew. That will dramatically increase my return on investment, but there are actually slightly more important things to do, such as restore the military governor's barracks, um, get some roads, improve, uh, well, not improve, but repair my army, um, commercial port, yes, commercial port in Tripoli is very important, actually that's cert, cert, alright, yeah, and Mizrata is slowly being developed, which is great. How's my army in Damascus doing? Let's repair you. Actually, you know what? Let's... Do I even want... Do I want to get rid of the militia and replace them with... Actually, what can I replace them with here? Uh, Grenadiers, Colonial Line Infantry. Yeah, that's not that good, but... It, it, yeah, I'll build a military academy soon, and then I'll hopefully be able to turn around and start doing that. So there's all of that going on. Um... Let's see, my army in Genoa is is doing quite well. Um, yeah, let's, let's just do a quick tour of my towns and villages, see if there's anything I missed that I may have forgotten. Um, Tunis, Tatooine is going to be available very, very shortly, which is great. Um, Venezia, making buckets of cash. So, central Italy, that's good. Um, yeah, Tripoli. I just took them last episode, so I'm not too worried about their lack of production right now. Malta is, Malta is giving me a lot of money for a relatively little uh, actual investment. Um, there's some food shortages in southern Italy, which isn't great, but it is what it is. Syria is doing well, actually. Um, I could do with better... Uh, better religious unity, but that's okay. And then we're back to Liguria. Cool. All right, so that's that. That's a tour of that. Um, you guys actually aren't even blocking any trade. I guess that was the uh, that was the the the, the 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 knights trade. But since the knights no longer have a port out here, that's uh, that's good. Oh dears. That's uh, they have Sekban Janissaries. Oh, you know what? Maybe taking Cairo and Jerusalem isn't that great of an idea. It's, 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 it's a nice front down here. Well, we, you know what, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, go through another couple turns, and then it's always a play by your game. At least that's how I see it. So, yeah, we'll see. All right. Construction report. Great arsenal in Damascus, which is it's great. I have an arsenal in Damascus. Um, and then a trade gain to sell holder. Yeah, I don't really care. Um, once again, let's repair my... Now my army is being repaired. That's good. Um, can I build anything in Tunis? Do I want to build anything in Tunis? Naval board? No, no. Do I want to build a state capital? 
That'll give me more tax income, but I think there are slightly more important things to do right now. Um, let's get my... There we go. Agent, board, the navy. Navy, go down to here. Yeah. Boom. Agent. Slide over into Tripoli. There we go. Islam is going down, which means Catholic is going up, which is good. And I'm just going to place this guy kind of there, just to guard against... Ooh, no, you know what I'm going to do? If I do decide to go up against the Ottomans, I'm going to want something over here. Um, so, there's that. Okay, let's see, how are my people in Damascus doing? They're slow, they're, be they're being recruited. Military Academy, hmm. It enables a lot more things, a lot more good things. Military Academy. Can't even get the gunnery school yet. Uh, but that's okay. Everybody's repairing. There we go. That's good. So you sh how's Baghdad doing? Can I... Is Baghdad a goal? Is Baghdad an option right now? Do I want to stretch myself too thin? Hmm. I do not know. I do not know. I do know that I have some more some more money floating around that I could spend on things like doing I, I don't even want a military academy um, there anymore. I should probably increase can I increase my universities? No, that's as high as they're gonna go. What about in anything in Venice? I can improve mine yeah I probably need a naval board. There we go. And let's also get some Hmm. Let's get some more line infantry. I always like line infantry. Alright, once more into the breach. Once more, and fill up the wall with your Ottoman dead. I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, maybe I should just take the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, take Morea back, and use that as my third prong up into Athens. Huh. Yeah, I'll do that. Yep, that's my plan. Okay, cool. Cool, I have a plan. Nice. Alright, well, this is interesting. The Mughal Empire will give me the region of Kashmir. Just give it to me, straight up. In return for fisheries, steam pump, land drainage, and measuring tools. I don't really think I can say no to this. Because I'm giving them technology, I'm not in direct conflict with them at all right now. It will give me a foothold in in India, in northern India, that's only really um, available to be attacked by, by the Mughal Empire itself. I mean, it might be a resource drain, but we're, even if I do lose that territory in the future, all I've given up was a little bit of land for the opportunity to develop the northern India. I, I, I have to accept that. Yeah. That was a very strange offer. I mean, I like it. But it was still a very strange offer. And I have a gentleman in southern Italy. Wow. Okay, this is a lot of notices right now. Cold Road's good. I have another uh, government. The Blackbeards have been killed. Edward Teach. That'll teach him a lesson. I have a new town in... In, uh, in Tatooine. Um, do I want to build a church school? Interesting. Do I want to turn Tatooine into a church? And then I can just spawn agent. Then I can take my two agents in Tunis and move them out. Yeah, let's do that. Church school. No, no, no. Long run. Um, something like a craft workshop, potters. Yeah. The craft workshops are definitely better. Money is good. And a gentleman has died of natural causes because he's old. Uh, unit recruited. I have one unit in Venice. Cool. New national leader. Samuel Pele. Cool. And somebody's an amusing cat. Good. Good for him. So, Tunis. Any more towns in Tunis? No. What Catholicism is going up? Mm, nice. I'm enjoying that. As is Catholicism in Tripoli. Which is good. Good. Up by plus 1.1. That, that, is, that is very nice. Um, what was I doing? Yes, I was moving these guys over to here. Just to kind of watch the... Watch the Ottomans, keep an eye on the... 
the Sicilians and their massive, massive armies that apparently one tiny little province can actually keep, which I think is a crock, but whatever. Um, let's get... Yeah, I don't need anything there. Anything in Rome that I really need to expand upon? Nope. What about Venice? Venice wants a new presidential palace. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Me like... Oh, right. But I have... Ah, cashmere. Okay. So, um... Yeah, what do, what do I do? Military governor or state house? Well, eh. seeing as I've got nobody here, like no army, no nothing, I should probably get some militia or something. Actually, you know what? Sorry, Venice, your presidential palace is going to have to wait. Because, quite frankly, <laughs> I'm... Kashmir's got not a whole lot of stuff going on right now. So let's get some... That's going to take four turns. Yikes. Okay, I'm just going to develop my military right now. I'm not even going to invest in the countryside of Kashmir, just because it might be a complete waste of time if, say, the Mughal Empire, which has a lot of territory right up in the north here, um, decides to attack me. Oh, ooh, although I could theoretically attack Persia from both sides if I ended up taking this and just kind of squish them in the middle. It's an option. It's definitely an option. But we will see. But yeah, I need to develop Kashmir first. Um, by develop, I mean I need to be able to defend it. But that's... Okay. So, we've got all of that going, which means I have a little bit of extra cash floating around that I could invest in... Uh, what do I want to invest it in? Some line infantry. In Lombardy. Yeah, it works for me. Don't really need the drummers anymore, but you know what, whatever. Got some line infantry over there, just, you know, just keeping the bad guys off. Um, because, I mean, let's be honest, Savoy, they've got a lot of troops there. Um, I don't know what Wurttemberg is doing, but they're, um, they're starting to worry me a little bit. As is, as is Austria, because Austria is allied with the Ottomans. Yeah. Austria is allied with the Ottomans, which could be bad for me. Could be very bad for me. Ooh, Sweden. Request trade agreement. Oh, good. I'm now trading with Sweden. Uh, what about Denmark? Come on, I'm already sending my ships up to Sweden. I might as well send my ships up to Denmark, too. And they still don't want to trade with me. What? Jerk stains. Um, so... Huh, how much, how much am I making now in trade? Six grand. Making eight grand a turn because, I mean, I'm slowly developing more armies. Um, maybe maybe to take these guys up here. I don't know. Uh, yes, come on, Damascus. We're slowly recruiting more guys in Damascus. We're getting a military academy. I'll get a great arsenal soon. Actually, how's my research? What am I doing in my research? Um... Especially I will get wine and all these wonderful things. Okay, that's not that's not bad. That's not bad. Um Actually nobody's developing military oh no. Verona and Bologna are developing technology, but they're developing naval technology, which I don't really need. Because honestly, um modern bayonets, general staff would be great. I can get fire in advance. Light Infantry Doctrine, because I can get Fanti de Mar, I don't know what these guys are, Naval Infantry, they're basically Marines, oh my goodness, look at their range, wow, they're snipers, and I've got still more Ukrainians, uh, I've got Ukrainian Dragoons, wow. Okay, yes, I definitely want to, to, to get more of that. So, Verona, no. Verona, you're researching. That's fire in advance. Plus one to training level for infantry units. That's good. Yes. And then I'll get my light infantry doctrine and then rear organized procurement. 
and then we'll start getting into army boards and army staff colleges and yeah then I'll just start steamrolling people but that is still into the future because we've got a little bit more time to go yeah all right construction in Tripoli in Venice recruitment in Liguria and Kashmir nice um Everything's good. Good in Damascus right now, although the Ottomans are really starting to develop um, develop their military, which is disappointing, to be perfectly honest. I can upgrade certs. Uh, I can get more trade routes, more town wealth. Actually, <laughs> I'm not even getting anything in tax from these guys. 138, wow. Um... Oh well, slowly things will start working out, right? Um, so I wanted to upgrade my commercial base in, in Corsica. It's not really all that important. I can still develop my presidential palace. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I want a presidential palace. Let's do it. Uh, recruitment. Let's get line infantry up there. Oh my gosh, I have so many people I could... Cuirassiers, General Bodyguard, Carabineers, 6 pound horses, 12 pound horse, 12 pound howitzers. Wow, this is starting to get a little bit crazy. I wish I could just say, no, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to get pikemen anymore. Um, because I'll be honest, I don't. Actually, how's Kashmir doing? How's Kashmir doing? I'm slowly getting my military govern, governor's, uh, thing in order. Um... Are there any more towns? No. Uh, what do I want to do? Growth this turn. Actually, there's a lot of immigration, which is really helping out. Um, tax burden isn't really that much, but at the same time, um, if I if I don't do that, then they'll actually grow faster and things will be a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I won't tax Kashmir just yet. Um, but yeah, another couple of turns, and we'll see what's what's going on for this episode and next episode. But we'll see. All right, I have some naval technology, naval architecture advances, um, and I have another excellent. I have another agent developed by the Vatican finally, um, and I can send him to send him down to Syracuse. I'll send you know, all the way over to Syracuse, and I'll start using him to convert the population in Damascus. Um, actually, before I forget, let's take Bologna. No, I don't want you to um, to look at... What are you even researching? Reformed Naval Administration? Because Naval College, which will allow more technologies. Whatever. Um, do I want Light Infantry Doctor? No, I want the new... Model bayonet drill. So then I can get reorganized procurement and then I can start getting the army board, which will be nice. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my agent construction report. Roads in Tripoli, nice. Craft workshop in Tunis, let's upgrade that before I forget. And recruitment in Venezia, Liguria, and Kashmir. Um, do I want to upgrade my. No, I can't upgrade my infrastructure. In. Tripoli just yet. Um, there's my agent, but he's already moved this turn. Central Italy, do I want to upgrade anything? Military Academy, that's a waste of money right now. You're not even on the forefront of anything. Um, Milan. And Naval Board, whatever. Um... Army, how much am I paying? Oh, I'm only paying 82 for them? Yeah. Okay. Um. Ooh. Don't want to improve my dry dock. No. No. Not just yet. I do, whoever wants to recruit some more infantry there. Some more infantry in Milan. No, let's see what's going on in Kashmir. Two more turns until I have my military governor's encampment, which enables the recruitment of sepoys. Nice range. Not that accurate. 
but they're very resilient and renowned for their loyalty. And had woodland and resistant to heat fatigue. Okay. I guess set boys will be the, the basis of my army in Kashmir. But um, one or two more turns, and then I'll probably call this an episode. All right. In the in-between turns, I've signed a peace treaty with Russia. All they wanted was a couple technologies, and it was great. More troops in Liguria, which is nice. Um, once again, I'm just looking around to see what I can build. Um, commercial port gives me more money in the long run. Yes. What about down here? Still nothing going in Tripoli. Can't really upgrade anything in Tunis just yet. Um... Oh yes, my agent, move you down, get you on the boats, maybe rather on the ships, boats are different, um, and you're going to move into, there we go, you're going to move over to Damascus. Um, what, what, what do you want to build? That's, that's a military academy, don't really care. Um... Dry dock, no. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get another two line infantry in there, just in case. Army, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eh, let's get another two line infantry in there. Oh, let's get another one line infantry in there, just in case. And Kashmir is almost starting to be defendable. Which, you know, isn't bad. It isn't bad. Um, what's the tech? Uh, only get 211 per turn from them? Okay. Um, one couple more. Let's go for another, I'll say, two more turns. Then we'll see what's going on. Well, I've developed bottling and canning, which is great. But <laughs> the Knights of St. John have actually besieged my city of Damascus. Which is, it's cute. It's cute. Um, it's not gonna do anything, but it's 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 cute. Um, because I'm just going to take my guys and I'm just gonna turn around and attack them because they don't have a lot of guys. So if you were hoping for a battle this episode, well, guess what? You've got one. But first, let's get some sepoys in 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 Kashmir. Is once I get, yeah. Oh, company infantry. How do company infantry compare to sepoys? They're more accurate. They're better at reloading. They're they're just better troops. They're not as resistant. Or they're resistant. They they actually are. Okay. There we go. So there's that. Um. But yeah, let's go back to. Let's go back to Damascus. Um. Because this is kind of, I don't know. But you know what? Let's attack them. It, they have 13 and wait. I have 25, 24. I, I should destroy them pretty handily. I mean, they have order infantry, which are elite infantry. How, how do they get order infantry? I Can I get them? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'll load this up, set them a battle formations, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I've gone back to my traditional cannons in the middle, one flank on one side, one flank on the other side, uh, with cavalry in, in behind formation. Um, I don't think they're going to attack me from behind, considering I'm sorting into them, but we will, we will see what happens. Okay, so that's, that's them. They're coming along. I was there. I was their cannon. Uh, you know what? My Croatian horse, your job? Take up their cannon. Can I can I do that or will they be No, they'll be cut off by dragons. So let's not worry about that just yet. Let's not worry about that just yet. Um Hmm. Because those cannon are a little bit dangerous. Just, I mean, they're not accurate, but they might be dangerous. 
There we go. I just have more cannon, which is nice. Um, those, are my, those are the dragoons. Do I want to just charge into the dragoons? That's possible. In the forest. No, I just want to take out their cannon. That's your job. Oh no, no, their cannon is behind their infantry anyways. So you know what? Let's let's just Let's just yeah, let's just go back there. And hope that nothing bad happens. But I'm actually gonna take my since most of the battle is gonna be along this flank, let's It's gonna be along the left flank rather, it appears. Let's um let's get my right flank kinda of wheeled around a little bit. Oh man, my carabineers are going down. I should have just gone up and charged their cannon while I had the chance. Oh well. Oh well. There we go. Cutting holes in their lines now. good, because I don't like when their lines don't have holes in them. And then how's... Let's swing you around there to shoot them from behind. There we go. Zero, my cannon. Why are you going up there? Oh, did you not unlimber? That's... That's really silly. Oh man, that's really silly of me. Because they're just gonna—they're gonna get slaughtered now. Oh, I hate that. Oh well. Hopefully, I can turn them around or something. Okay, so two, my right flank. You're just gonna stretch all the way out there and act as like a a, a, a wall for these guys. Because, oh dears, my cannon, they're going to get overwhelmed. Again, that's okay. Because hopefully I can get oh, as much havoc in there as I, as I can. Which <laughs> appears to be quite a lot. Quite a lot. So, now it appears it's the turn of my other infantry. Nope. What's going on here? You're just charging right through? Okay. Um, you know, you guys charge into the middle of that. Hmm. No, I want you... Man. It helps make it so hard to maneuver your troops, just in terms of where will the game let me put... There we go. Um, okay. To come back around here and start shooting these guys from behind. Because this is starting to be a little bit crazy. Because um, they, they just punched right through my cavalry because I did not position my infantry very, very well um, at all. So, but many of them are turning around and running, which is good. There we go. Where's my... Oh, my Croatian horse is already slaughtered. Wow. Okay, you... Just... Just turn and face like that. And get these guys in a little bit of a crossfire. Two, why aren't you running? Run. You guys... Go into melee with them. Wow. They just charged right through the middle of my formation, which I guess technically is its weakness. But, uh... But, you know. 
but now we're starting to get a little bit of a crossfire. Things are getting caught in the middle, and they're going to get slaughtered pretty quickly. Hopefully, I don't lose too many of my own guys in crossfire. But, uh, there we go. Nice. I like when these little crossfire things happening. I love kill kill boxes and kill zones and all those wonderful things. And I need more of you guys attacking them. You know, just go in with melee. There's three of you. There's only one set of them. And I think that's the only troop left. Oh no, I've got the general's bodyguard. To be fair, the general is actually a very good bodyguard. He was ranked like six stars or something like that. But, uh... But still, it's mildly disappointing. And why aren't you irregulars going away yet? You're losing slightly. Okay. Come on, General's bodyguard. You don't want any of this. You do not want any of this. My cannon are still firing for some reason. I have one group of cannon in the middle, they're just like, no! No, they will die! They will die! All obstinate and whatever. I really hope I can take out their general, because he's so good. Um, don't run after him. Run after him. Don't shoot from... You have horses! Chase him! There we go. So he's running away. Let's get their cannon as well, because that's the last thing to go. Um, and I don't think my carabineers are going to end up chasing down the bodyguard, which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. But, uh, but it is what it is, I guess. So everybody of the knights are running away. They're running through the city, actually, that I was supposed to be defending. They can't go any faster, can they? Yeah, no, run after him! <sighs> Hopefully we can... Can we catch them? I don't know. Okay, Cannon, why are you still firing? Stop. They're just out of range. They're in range. Good, they have to slow down to go through the forest. Shoot them! No, no, I'm chasing down their general, and I'm going to kill him. I'm chasing down their general, and I'm going to kill him. Chase him down. Chase him down. Run. You know, I'll just speed this up. Because, like, their general is good enough that I need, that I need him dead. Go. Run. Like, that's how, like, he's, he's like a, you know, like I said, six-star general. He's super important, so kill him. Go. In fact, you guys go up there. Just run up there. Don't even worry about chasing him or shooting. Just catch up to him and try to drive him in the other direction. Ah, oh, no. Wasn't able to do it. Oh, well. Oh well, we'll just fast forward through the rest of this, because they're all just routing, and they're all just going to go away, and... Well, that was unfortunate. I lost 555 men. Um, some of my guys did go up in experience, which is good. My carabineers, nice. 132 kills for only 55 lost, um, which is nice. But you know what? My militia are starting to be... I mean, they're experienced militia, but they're starting to just be overwhelmed in, in battle. So I think I'm going to get rid of them and replace them with something a little bit, a little bit better. Actually, I'm going to take my my militia and my pikemen, we're going to turn around and we're going to attack them. And we're just going to auto-resolve that. Good. And send you running away. Um, army, let's maintain you. Trick gained. 
Corporal in Gold Braid. Plus one morale in battles, plus one to command when leading infantry units. Good. Um, but yeah, in the next little bit, I'm going to have to start rebuilding my army in Damascus because the knights are jerks. But you know what? That's okay. But that will be the end of this episode. So uh, again, I'm Karshu the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Let me know what you think. That way I know that you are actually a human being watching this and not some computer-generated hive mind or, or matrix thing. Which would be weird. Which would be weird. Wow. <laughs> the Netherlands has Strasbourg. Interesting. But yeah, I'll see you next time, and hopefully there will be another battle. Maybe I'll take the Ottomans, maybe I'll take southern, uh, southern Greece back, maybe I'll expand into India. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. But I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.